The Galaxy S24's full color range has now been made public. The S24, S24 Plus, and Galaxy S24 Ultra will be offered in four separate colors. Black, gray, violet, and yellow, according to Ross Young, the CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, who has previously proven to be a trustworthy source. Now, these four primary colors will be complemented by a number of Samsung.com-only shades, including orange, light blue, and light green. Interesting color choices indeed. While black and gray have long been the staple color choices for Samsung's flagship phones, the addition of violet and yellow is interesting. The last time we saw these colors was with the S10e and with the S21. Samsung used to release phones with bold eye-catching colors in the past. But from the past few years, they sort of playing it safe, sticking mostly to the usual monochrome options, steering clear of anything too out there. Now, it looks like Samsung is kind of taking a different approach with the S24 series. Do note that Samsung is using a titanium frame on the S24 Ultra, which doesn't play nice with colors. So, these new shades on the S24 lineup might look a bit different than what we're used to seeing on Samsung phones. With that said, we have more updates on the efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip on the S24 lineup. Recent leaks have shown that the 8 Gen 3 is way more powerful than the 8 Gen 2, both in CPU and GPU. We're talking about a solid 35% boost in CPU performance, and a whopping 40% plus improvement in graphics. But here's the real kicker what about that all-important efficiency? Because let's face it, for most of us, it's all about getting more juice out of our battery. Now, Ice Universe chimed in with some sweet insights, saying the 8 Gen 3 is even more efficient than the 8 Gen 2. He's even calling it almost perfect, which is quite a bold claim. You might already know that the 8 Gen 2 in the S23 Ultra delivers some seriously impressive battery life. So, just imagine Samsung making it even better with the S24 Ultra. Now, let's shift our attention to the dark side, as the iPhone 15 lineup isn't selling as well as Apple initially expected. Bloomberg as well as a renowned analyst Jeff Boo reports that demand for the iPhone 15 is lower than demand for the iPhone 14 in the same period last year. So, why the sales slump? Well, it's all thanks to an ongoing weakness in consumer demand and some serious competition from Huawei and other local players in markets like China. Huawei has recently beaten Apple to clinch the title of the top-selling smartphone maker in China. Analysts believe that Huawei will keep on rising, and this trend is set to carry on well into 2024. Now, that's a bit of a headache for Apple because China's their biggest market for iPhone sales, making up a whopping 22% of their total iPhone shipments. So, Huawei's rise might mean Apple has to kiss goodbye to those tens of millions of iPhone sales. What do you think about these new interesting colors of the S24 series? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, subscribe for the latest coverage of the S24 Ultra and other exciting phones. With that being said I will see you guys in the next video.